hello and welcome this is Seth amazon here again and we are going to be creating another kind of notebook another kind of journal like you all know we created one earlier in the previous videos we created one earlier in the previous video and in this at this time we are going to also be creating another and um we are going to be creating something very funny <laughs> why still okay uh, how many of us know this book this kind of book we create or we used to buy that is completely blank the interiors are completely blank there's no write-ups no lines just nothing completely plain white sheet and we love those kind of books we love those kind of journals sometimes we use them for documenting our thoughts sometimes we use them for um you know um our sketchbooks we buy it for our children to just you know sketch here and there some uh, back in, in in school we used to call them drawing books i'm going to show you how to do that in the next line this that, that will take me literally not more than a minute or two to create that will show you how simple these things are and i'll also show you how to create the kind of books where you'll find that the you know one part of it is lined and the other side is completely blank no writing so i know some of us have those kind of books some some of us have those kind of journals and jotters so i'll show you how to also do that in this video so stay tuned with me and watch how it's done so you click on create a design as always you create you click on custom size now i've okay this is inches here six here nine here create new design and we have this now look at this this is completely blank there's nothing here and ordinarily you would you would think that this is uh, blank and you want to just duplicate and duplicate and duplicate but if you do that let's say you have duplicated let's say you have duplicated and have a number of pages and you want to save this it's you're not going to be able to save it because there is no no this is look at this the download here is grayed out because this is assumed to be completely blank there is no object there's nothing on it so what we are going to do since we want to achieve a white you know white interior instead of just saving it like that what we'll do is we'll come here and change we'll change the color to white but before doing that we'll come and add what's called an element we'll just simply come here to look at lines and shapes just type just type um, um, rect rectangle or square rectangle or square let's use rectangle once you click on rectangle you're going to get different kinds of rectangles now you look pick this one that is that yeah this just pick it i'll just click by clicking it now you just drag 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 see that drag just drag completely to, and ensure that it fills the entire space here and the next thing you do is click on it and change the color from blue to white and here you have your white interior i will delete this now because i created it from a blank slate and all i need to do now from here is to just duplicate this and keep duplicating and keep duplicating now what i'm duplicating isn't the blank sheets but this um i'm duplicating this the rectangles that i have added to that first blank page and i will just keep doing that see what i'm doing i'll just keep doing that i think when i get to 50 i'm just going to stop i'm just going to do that and do that you know just keep doing that and doing that and doing that when we get to 50 we would stop now 50 and that's basically it's now you have your journal that is completely without any writing this is what is called a no content book anytime you hear a no content a no content book this is exactly what it is the first one we created are just lines are low content books so basically this is just what we have this is now a completely empty journal that we can publish on amazon now you see that we have this download now you know up for us to use so we'll just come back here 
can either use this or this but most times i prefer using high quality just the the downside of using a high quality print is that the size of the book is also going to be high and that may affect the printing cost of the book i'll show you that when we are set to publish on amazon and although it's going to give you good quality but it may affect the printing cost thereby affecting the royalty that you may get for every sale so you can also try to choose this other one which is also not bad and once you have selected PHP standard click on download and we are good this time i actually forgot to rename this but you will know what it is maybe in your folder you can try to rename it and right now i'm going to rename it to um let me see blank journal six by nine you'd want to you'd want to be renaming them because you're going to creating as many as possible so you're able to know which is for which and what is for what with this we are done but i'm going to use this same template to show you how to create another kind of you know um another kind of journal the type that will have the lined and the blank um, interiors so since we already have the white interiors here the blank interiors what, what i'll do now is i'll just come back here i'll just come back here let me see if i can have lined books lined books click that yeah i have line books here so what, what i'll do is i'll simply replace this click that and replace and you see that i just clicked and click so it replaced that so what I, what i'll do now is to delete this delete everything here because i'm trying to get a line and blank so now i have lined here Okay, let me adjust so that it's going to yeah, put in the middle so that there are no spaces anyway so i have the line here and i have what here blank right so but i'm going to duplicate this so that i can have something after this and after duplicating this i simply this is what i would do i simply move this downwards you see that there is blank i mean lined there is blank now there is another line here I'll duplicate this and move it downwards so that it's going to you know the intervals line blank line i'm going to duplicate this again and move it what downwards see that duplicate it move downwards duplicate downwards duplicate downwards you see that you see that so here again i will duplicate move downwards duplicate move downwards duplicate move downwards duplicate move downwards you know just keep doing that duplicate this and move the duplicated one downwards you can just keep doing that remember that at first we created 50 slides so i'm sure that by the time before we get to by the time this becomes now we are going to get in total 100 that's what we are going to be getting in, to, in total 100 and i think it should be a place to see how many we have here already but let us keep on i'm sure that okay let me duplicate this and move the duplicate on downwards duplicate move downwards duplicate see this could be a lot fun because you can see that you're not really doing you're not really doing anything you're not struggling to create what you're creating mainly the only point where you have the only point where you have um, to you know think through is in the process of decision what you want to create and as soon as you know what you want to create all you now need to do is to look at what ideas will suit what you have to work with so basically this is how this is done canvas created us affords the ability to be creative 
in our own way and i didn't plan to do everything i'm doing right now it is as i entered the app that i'm seeing the things that are available to me and that was that's why i had to you know do this recording so that you can see the exact thing i do of course there are more sophisticated ways of doing this if i want to do a more amazing design i have to take a lot of other time to do it which somehow is really unnecessary because i already have what to work with so why the why the unnecessary stress okay so we're supposed to get at least 100 of to get to pick 100 um, sorry i had to let you go through this entire process you know looking at what i'm doing ordinarily i should fall yeah, fast forward this but i just think it's important for you to just see how it goes um just watch me do it and so now we have 97 we keep this we have yeah this is 98 this is 99 and 100 so if this is lined this is blank this is lined this should be blank good i just deleted what we have the add we are good to go amazing isn't it and i can decide to change the color of my lines to black and it's black red whatever you want but just know that on amazon when you publish you can decide to publish on black ink or colored ink i'm going to show you that when we are ready to publish right now since my first color here is this i think it will be good for me to just leave this the way it is if i wanted to change the color i'll have done it from the first design i'll just change the color you know to whatever i want and then duplicate that you cannot duplicate the first one okay i have oh the reason why i cannot duplicate this uh, um canva takes a maximum of just 100 pages you cannot on one design you cannot create uh, pages beyond 100 so that's why i'm unable to duplicate this design further however we now have what we want and i can just download this as well this download download then saved as lined and blank six by nine and we are done so right now i'm just going to open the two designs that we have done for you to see before we end this lesson and i'll do a third design where we are going to be creating something else maybe a planner you know, a daily planner a weekly a daily report or something like that but let me just show you the designs we've just done we have um lined yes, lined. yes we have line note no? was that yes line notebook line notebook i also have lined and blank so i'm going to open that too so that you see that so this is this here is the line notebook we've just created completely lined there is nothing inside oh this was the first one we created sorry <laughs> we created blank blank yes blank notebook so this is the blank notebook we've created <laughs> can you see that completely empty there's nothing here and this is what we are, we are going to publish this live and direct on amazon and we're going to be accepted i'm going to publish all the all these books i've created now i'm going to publish them on amazon and you see how all of them goes now look at this this is line blank line blank line blank line blank line blank. as mundane as this seem this is massive and excellent so basically that is it this is the blank and this is line and blank that we just created thank you very much i hope you got value and you have seen how easy this is 
to create and I, like i told you, you can create as many as you want with this counter create you know 50 of this this alone is okay all i need to do now as this is this is blank one I've, I've created now i can use it to create like i can use it to publish up to five five to ten different kind of um you know uh, stationaries all i need to do is to just change the design i'm going to be, to be doing on each of the covers i'll show you how to design covers and that alone can spark a lot of ideas for you but before then bye for now i'll see you in the next video